Hey guys, it's Matt with Atlas Precision Consulting. <clears throat> In this video, we're gonna talk about direct ships and a couple tips and things like that from sales order entry. Now on my screen already, I have a order up with a line, quantity of 100 on back order. Uh, I have a B disposition, which means I'm back ordered. Um, <clears throat> if I didn't have anything allocated to it, I could just change it straight to D. Uh, but right now, if I change this to D, what it's going to do is it's only going to try to do a direct ship or drop ship for my uh, back ordered quantity. Uh, so you can see in here, I've gone to the extended info. I'm going to unallocate um, all of that quantity because I want to make sure I just direct ship the whole 100 of this order. <clears throat> all I simply need to do is change the uh, disposition to D. This will now become a... A direct ship item uh, one other thing i want to point out on this screen um once we did that the supplier id uh came alive this would be allowing you to change uh, to a different uh, supplier if it's not going to be the primary supplier if you're getting it from somebody else you can change that here uh, you can also go to if you have access to the costs tab um, there's a spot down here called purchase order cost now you don't have to enter anything in here um, if you don't enter anything in here, it's just going to use your default pricing that you do for your for your purchasing, whether it's location costs or supplier costs or, or, or however it's calculated. Uh, you would use this to override that pricing uh, if you had to, you know, pay a special price to do the direct ship. Uh, this is where you would enter that again if you have access to that. Uh, speaking of access. Uh, if you come over here, uh, you can save this order and it'll go off into a deep disposition and then somebody else can run a uh, porg and it would, you know, find those items. Uh, if you wanted to do it yourself and launch it directly from the sales orders, you do have to have a buyer assigned uh, to your user ID and you also have to have the permissions turned on in user settings. Uh, in this case, I don't have it turned on. So if I try to check it, you'll see that I get an error that says, hey, I need to have a, a valid buyer ID attached to my user account. Um, but I'm not really focusing on that right now. Uh, one tip I did want to give you, if you're trying to do this and you know from the beginning that it's going to be a direct ship, uh, when you start the order, <clears throat> just right click uh, up in the header before you start putting any items on here. You can technically do it after, but I, I just find it easier if you start before the items. And you're going to click on the order disposition. You'll have a pop-up. Uh, you can change this to... Uh, there's a bunch of different options, obviously. There's four or five options here. Uh, we're going to set it to direct ship. And so no matter what I put on this order now, uh, it's not even going to try to allocate it. It's just by default going to uh, put it on a D disposition. Uh, and again, I can go to the extended info tab, change my supplier if I need to. Uh, quick video on direct ships. If you guys have questions on this or if you want to see some other videos, put a comment below. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And always, uh, Atlas is here for your Profit 21 needs. Thanks, guys.